The doctoring implies this uh, more, more caring element, I suppose, and I can't say that that was an, an early motive, and I, I effectively uh, was directed uh, uh, during schooling towards uh, biological topics, particularly zoology, and uh, uh, subsequently um, formulated the idea that I might uh, uh, do uh, forensics work as a way of uh, being interested intellectually and also using biological um, elements. And, um, but uh, that uh, required a medical degree, essentially. Um, so uh, I followed that through and did physiology, uh, a physiology degree at Oxford and then, uh, and then subsequent clinical, clinical work. Um, things have changed since then, but the, the physiology degree um, uh, was uh, trying to me, I think I should say. There was a lot of emphasis on the squid giant axon at the time. And I even got to the point um, of becoming phobic of the, uh, of the graphical components, which is, um, um, in retrospect, a rather weird paradox, since I subsequently became particularly interested in time series and graphic. But that was a, a time that, was, uh, that I found difficult. And it was also in an educational setting uh, in, um, in Oxford that I um, had a lot of difficulty um, dealing with at the time. And in retrospect, that influenced um, what formal um, a qualification I got out of it. Um, but I found the clinical work at uh, Guy's much more uh, to my liking and enjoyed that very much. And in particular, got into the habit of very early turning the theory into a practical way of being uh, and functioning, which gave me, I think, something of a, an advantage when it came to, to later later qualification and so part of it I think the medical part of it was that it turned out to be um, a satisfying uh, experience intellectually and uh, and I could sense the opportunities in it but it also gave me outlets uh, uh, for uh, any of the empathic and other parts of, of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of life which, um, which complemented that. Well, when, when, um, when I was at, uh, at, at college, um, I vividly remember that uh, many, of the, um, many of the undergraduates were already very established in their view of a, a business or a professional career, and the, the medical uh, people, few in number, were seen as almost missionaries. There was a kind of mild pity uh, for those who were going to sacrifice themselves on this particular altar. And um, it turns out to have been almost completely the opposite. Um, so while um, coming out of the humanities, um, making a portfolio career is, uh, is uh, seriously challenging, uh, running into, into medicine uh, has given me and others enormous capacity uh, for variety and, uh, and contribution and ultimately um, satisfaction. And it is difficult to isolate uh, particularly what uh, um, what has been um, most satisfying about it because of the number of areas that I was able to, uh, to work in. And I suppose if anything is typical, it is that I, I tried to and usually managed to take opportunities that offered themselves, uh, whether it was in patient care or whether it was um, in um, the, what were known as the psychosocial aspects of my, my uh, specialty or ultimately in the... Uh, information technology areas and in the practical areas. Um, so that, that would be a sort of, um, that would be a general comment. I, I, I took the MRC probably fairly uh, early because I had, uh, I think, managed to convert the theory into practice fairly quickly uh, after medical school and uh, albeit doing, I did a membership course. Um, but uh, I got into trouble in the, in the clinical examination because, uh, for reason I can't remember the detail now, but I, I came to believe that the patient probably had some form of porphyria. And uh, I struggled with the notion of this you know, really quite rare condition with features that were not absolutely classy, but I just couldn't fit it to anything else that I knew. 
and uh, so it was with considerable trepidation and feeling that I had probably completely destroyed my chance of passing that I offered it to the uh, to the examiners. Uh, and uh, whether it was that I, I um, explained it uh, well enough and logically enough to pass, or whether it was actually true, I never discovered. But it was one of those moments that one um, relives only uncomfortably. <laughs>